there's no formula to how we write. It's like, I'm always writing on guitar, piano, making beats. We mess around with synthesizers and stuff like that. And Sarah, you do pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I think a lot of our songs on Voices started with um, like a little 30 second beat or maybe even a 10 second beat or even just like the simplest rhythm. And we would write around the beat we would use the samples as specific parts. Yeah. Um, we would yeah. cut things out and see if they worked. We would minim minimalize and then maximize um, for the most part. But that, I would say, to sum it up for at least um, voices, it's, it always started with an interesting beat. What's really great about our work dynamic is, for example, the song Fall in Love, which is our newest single off Voices, that was a beat that I made about five or six years ago. Um, originally intended for maybe, I don't know, like Jay-Z or somebody to rap over. And it was just kind of sitting around with many other beats that I make. And Sarah was looking for some ideas and she's like, what about this? I, I love it. And she really breathed new life into that track. And, um, you know, wrote the vocal hook and melody and it just became a, song. I've been singing my whole life, playing the piano, just making up stuff on, on my grandma's mother's piano that she gave us when she passed away. And I think I realized when Josh and I met back up together and he taught me how to produce and he taught me how to write down my ideas and he taught me how to play guitar. He taught me all of these different elements that I, I never knew that I, I could compose something, a piece of art. I first wanted to become a musician when I was about 18 years old. I hadn't really played music until then. I thought I was gonna be like a pro skateboarder or something like that. And then I just kind of, I taught myself how to play drums and guitar and a little piano and just got obsessed with sound in general, like writing, whether it was like recording field recordings or just my friends and I like goofing off or writing short songs, making beats and stuff like that. So I got really into it uh, at the age of 18 and decided from there on that's all I wanted to do. When we first started out writing, um, we used the resources that we had, which wasn't as much as we did um, for voices we would use like the soft synthesizers that sounded like Moog for our like first record. Um, there's just this warmth and gritty thickness that you can find with Moog and it's really yeah. important for us. I mean, I'm a super bass head. Josh is, is always trying, I'm always like, yeah, more bass, let's feel it. And Josh is always the one who's like, okay, step back for a minute. <laughs> like, don't, you know, because I, I don't know, there's just something really, I just love it so much. So when I'm on stage, I channel a lot of um, emotion. And it's very cathartic, like I just, I, turn, I don't turn into a different person or anything, but it's, it's a way, it's almost like playing a sport or like skateboarding or something, like you're just in a totally different zone. And, uh, very freeing for me, you know, I don't feel shy. People think we're super serious and dark and like heavy and, and it's so interesting because we don't even notice it. Like we'll, yeah. we we just don't even realize it, that, that it's actually happening. And especially on stage, it's, it's a completely different, it's a way to release. Music is everything to me. I mean, I, I think music is like the most spiritual thing there is in life. You know, it's the most you can connect with, it's, you know, it's the most religious experience you can have without actually practicing religion. You know, it's universal. Yeah.